Hi, I'm Diane Vaza, Head of Global Fixed Income Research at Standard & Poor's. There's a lot of attention on credit ratings, but a key question that is often overlooked is how well do credit ratings do the job they're designed for? The track record of S&P's corporate ratings as indicators of default risk is very strong. But first you need to know what a credit rating actually is, and just as importantly, what it's not. A credit rating is an opinion about relative credit risk, the credit worthiness of an issuer or credit quality of an individual debt issue, from strongest to weakest, within a universe of credit risk. It's not a guarantee of credit quality or an exact measure of the probability that a particular issuer or particular debt issue will default. For example, a corporate bond rated AA is viewed as having a higher credit quality than a corporate bond with a single A rating. The AA rating is not a guarantee that it will not default, but rather that it is less likely to default than the single A rated bond. The performance of ratings can be measured very objectively by how well they correlate over time with defaults and by their stability, the rate at which they change or not change. Our corporate default studies consistently show that the higher the issuer the rating, the lower the incident of default and vice versa, and that the higher the rating, the more stable it is. We found that between 1981 and 2013, the average five-year default rate for investment-grade corporate issuers was just over 1%, compared with 16% for speculative-grade companies. Speculative-grade ratings generally are more volatile. One way we measure our ratings performance is by the Gini ratio. The Gini ratio measures rank ordering. The higher the rating, the lower the incidence of default, and vice versa. So you want to see a high Gini. 100 is the highest. The Gini was at its fifth highest level globally since our default studies began in 1981, coming in at 90 for 2013. And in the US, it was 91, and in Europe, 94. This shows that corporate ratings' ability to serve as an effective measure of relative risk remains intact. Remember that a high rating is not a guarantee that an issuer or debt issue will never default or that the rating won't change suddenly. Credit worthiness can and does change, sometimes as a result of unexpected and unpredictable events. For more details, please read Assessing the Performance of S&P's Corporate Ratings and our 2013 Annual Global Corporate Default Study and Rating Transitions. Thank you for listening.